Hi guys, it's me Jackson, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to remix a Stanley Topper that I found off of Thingiverse. Go into Thingiverse and type in Stanley name. S N L T Y name. And then Stanley's you're going to say it's going to be spelled wrong, but that's okay. And click enter. And then it'll be this second one right here. So we need a blank one. So click on that. Scroll down to see files. There should be two of them. Then this top one, it should show a blank one. And download that. And then you go into your Tinkercad. And then click Create 3D Design. And then you're going to bring in this. Click Import. Click this. And it should be the first one. And you're not going to change anything. Click Import. And then once time for it, don't do anything with that. And then we're going to go into Canva. Click Create a Design. And then search up the logo. Click the top one. And then go Text. Add a text box. And this can be for any name, whoever you want, border girl, doesn't matter. And then you're you're gonna type in whatever name on the Caroline because I got an order from Caroline. So whatever name you want, and then make that bigger. Okay. Once you did that, you am gonna click. Can't make sure you clicked on it, click Canvas Sands, and then you're gonna search for Lucky Bones. Search up Lucky, and then it should be the top one. Lucky Bones. And it should look like this. And then I'm gonna click Share, scroll down, click Download, and then click Download. And then now, once that downloads, it's gonna be a PNG, so we're gonna go to the free SVG converter, PCISVG.com. Click upload a picture and it should be the one that you just did. And then you're going to select whatever one you want. It's usually internal two or internal three. Internal three looks better. And then click download. And then you're going to again go into the same Tinkercad you just were in and click import. Click choose a file and then click this one. Make sure it's an art and then make this six millimeters width. Click enter and then click import. Mm. And once that imports, I'm going to drag it aside and you're going to make this. 0.07 tall, and then you're gonna click this triangle, drag it up, and then make this green. Make the green 0.108. That means it is, it's off the ground, and it's the same height as, it's off the ground, the same as this, so it's touching that. And then just select both of those and then click this align button. And then you click this this one. It's gonna be on this side or this side. Don't worry about the one on the bottom because that'll mess it up. And then you drag it to wherever you want it. The middle is and then you can search for whatever you want. I don't know. A star circle square whatever you want but i'm gonna do a star so search whatever you want and then you're gonna drag that in and then you're gonna make it 0.07 tall and then make this 0.3 by 0.3 and then you're gonna levitate your object point Point, point one zero oh eight. Click enter, and you can put these wherever you would like, and make sure the snap grid is on one sixty fourth of an inch, and you can move these out wherever you want it. 
I'm just gonna do a bunch of them here, over here. And uh, you can place whatever you want, wherever you want. And then once you have done that, This was everywhere. And then once you feel happy with that, you just select everything and then click this button over here. This is a group. And then once you have the group, you're going to click export as a STL. And then you're going to go ahead and open Bamboo Studios. And then create, click create for project. Click this button and it should be the very top one. And then, so the, you're gonna right click it and then the bottom, you're gonna click change filament. The bottom color is gonna be whatever one you want. I'm gonna do pink, so it's already ready. And also make sure these two colors are correct and there's only two colors. And then you're gonna click on the, click on it and then click this. Make sure it's so, click. You click on height rank and then make the height range maximum, which is eight. And then you're gonna zoom in and then try to get to the very bottom of the second layer. Press return. And then it should look a bit like this. And then click slice plate or slice all whatever one. And it's gonna take about an hour, 17 minutes. So now I'm gonna go show you what it looks like when it's done. And here is when it's done. I think it'll look pretty cool, but what do you think? And please remember to hit that like button to subscribe to my channel. Bye, Jackson out. Everybody listen.